Hello YouTube, it's Dorian here. Uh, today I'm going to show you quickly how to update your Linux distribution the faster way. Now normally if you're new to Linux and you're kind of shying away from the scary command line, you're going to use your uh, package manager, your software updater and whatnot. Uh, that's the slower way. So I just want to show you a couple of examples here with different virtual machines. Um, so I'll, I'll show you first, this is Manjaro. So this is based off of uh, Arch Linux. So Arch Linux and Targos or anything else that's Arch based that uses the package manager Pac-Man uh, is going to work the same way. Um, now, let me just show you first the GUI method. So I'm going to go, oh, I have it right here. Open the package manager and check for updates. So this is going to be about the same speed in most distributions. So it's going to sit there and it's going to think and it's going to check and it's going to take its time. There might be a little funny animation or whatever. Okay, there. Now it finally popped up. But what you can do in the console, this is with any uh, Arch based, you can just go open your terminal, go sudo pacman syu, enter in your password, and it's going to synchronize. This hasn't been loaded for a while, which is why it's taking longer. And now it's going to start asking you if you want your updates or not. And no, I don't want to replace anything. So you can see that was significantly faster. Do it again, and now it's going to ask me again. Um, I made some changes. I played around with repositories, so it's you know asking me different questions here. But the main thing is with Pac-Man, um, if you're doing a search, you just have to learn your your switches. So if you're going to do a search, you're going to do this, and it's going to show you. Gini, it's a, a an editor, um, or if you want to just you know just do an update, or you want to update your repositories, you can just add on to this. So that's that, Exeter. Yeah. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but you could see that it was much faster using the GUI. Now in Ubuntu and any other, or sorry, Debian-based, or Ubuntu, or any other uh, Debian-based um, Linux distributions, you're gonna use apt. So you can go apt get update password, and then it's gonna go through, it's gonna check, and it's gonna be done. You see how quick that was. Now it's gonna tell you if you have packages, and then you can go upgrade, and it's going to upgrade whatever packages need to be upgraded. I have several, but I don't want to do it. I'm just showing you here really quick. Um, with apt, you can also do, you don't have to type apt get, you can type apt, update and install and upgrade. And this is gonna run much faster than your software update or the GUI version that you're gonna use. You can see it actually ran while I was setting things up to record the video, but when you run it yourself, it's a little slow. It takes a little while. You know, like I keep saying, don't be scared to use the terminal, especially for updating. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, Solus. Solus uses... I should have really kept all these unlocked. Solus uses EO package. Not the nicest thing to type, but it works. Oh, sorry, it is upgrade. And it's going to check, and then it's going to say, here, you have these packages. Again, much faster than typing it in by hand. Um, another one that I don't have is um, Fedora. I never installed it. If you look on my Twitter, I put up a, I posted an image here and shows you Debian and its 
Debian based distros, Arch, uh, you have Solus, you have Fedora. Uh, someone corrected me here with Fedora with Yum. I, I honestly haven't used it in a long time. I used Red Hat way back in the day in 90s, early 2000s. Um, I, I probably used it at one point. But, anyways, um, I had put Yum and they switched to DNF. Um, they switched for um, many reasons. The documentation was garbage and uh, switching to Python 3 wouldn't support yum anymore it would have broken much of it so anyways now they have DNF so if you used yum before it was you know yum update yum install package name now you just type DNF they've kept the they've kept the commands pretty much the same um, so yeah someone corrected me here and uh, another one was the apt get thing which I mentioned is just apt, which works just the same. You can still use both. It's up to you. Apt is just quick, quicker to type. Um, and in OpenSUSE, um, we use Zipper. So sorry, this is a little small. I didn't, uh, I didn't make it bigger. Let me just zoom this in a little bit. My shortcut keys don't work for zooming for some reason, but anyways. Um, yeah, with OpenSUSE, it's a zipper. So you do refresh or ref, and then it'll go through and check the new, um, check the repositories for any changes. And then you can just do, uh, don't do update, don't do upgrade. I was corrected on this. And uh, with OpenSUSE, it is dupe, D-U-P. Um, like I've said in other videos, when you're choosing your, your distro, don't go by um, looks, don't go by um, you know the theming, you can change all of that. You can get GNOME, as you can see, I had GNOME on every single virtual machine that I was running there. They all look a little bit different, you can change it. Um, what's important is what's behind the, the desktop. So um, the package manager is important. What packages are available is important. And I think the community is very important as well. Um, you can go search OpenSUSE packages and it'll bring you to this page where you can go, okay, I wanna see if this package is available. And then, yeah, you can see it is available. You can see all the versions. Um, so if there's a lot of particular software that you like to use and you're thinking of switching or you're switching from Windows, so you just, you know, Google, oh, well, the Linux alternative is this, this, and this, make yourself a little list and you can search. And you can also see which versions there are. So that also gives you an idea of how current they are. Um, Ubuntu has a similar thing, package search. You can browse and search through different packages um, and Arch as well has the same thing and then most of them do they have some kind of web-based package search where you can just go in and you could see um, what's available and what's not so you know if you want to use blender then you can go in and say okay well yeah it has it and it's this version and whatnot um, so yeah so I did the the refresh here and then I'll do dupe and it's distribution upgrade and it's going to want to upgrade some stuff which I don't want to do right now because I'm recording. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, I've got this little picture here on Twitter if you're interested. Um, always make sure to check all kinds of different things when you're searching for a Linux distribution. Um, here's a tweet that I just did from, it was last night, uh, when I'm doing a review or checking out a, a distribution like I am right now, I'm, I'm checking out OpenSUSE. Um, I check it on multiple machines, as you can see. I've got a wide range of different laptops. This one in the middle here, the MSI, this is obviously the one that I'm using now. Um, I'll run 
the hardware or I'll run the software uh, in virtual machines on a couple of them and then I'll actually run it on the hardware just to see if there's any major issues. Um, the MSI laptop that I use now is the one that's the biggest pain to install things on because it has the the Optimus or the hybrid uh, graphics card. It's Nvidia and um, Nvidia and Intel graphics cards, two in one. So it's a bit of a pain to set up, but that's what I kind of like. I want to see if it works or not. I want to see if I run into snags, and if I do, then I publish it. And uh, yeah, so that is how you <laughs> update your packages the faster way. Um, also look into installing in the same way because that's also faster. So you can go, I already have this installed, but you just type in what you want and it'll go through and it's, it'll tell me it's already installed. Um, but um, one thing that I wanted to mention real quick while, while I'm on this, but this will also be in the review, so for OpenSUSE, um, I did find it a little bit confusing when I first started using this because you have Yast, which is the <clears throat> yet another system tool, I think it's called. So, you know, you have access to all your stuff here and your bootloader and everything, which is great. And then your software manager, so you go here to install your stuff. Um, but there's also the GNOME software, which also works. It's not gonna work now because the this is open. Um, but this also works. Yeah, let me try it again. Let me just close all this. This also works to install software. And I don't know. And then there's also package updater package. It seems to be kind of all over the place. It It's really not, but I was confused at first. Um, the GNOME software package manager that I'm showing you right now did not work at first until I did a few updates and refreshes and whatnot, and then it started to work. Normally, the editor's picks and everything, normally the pictures show up like it normally does, but probably because I'm opening and closing stuff, it's messing things up right now. But, yeah, that kind of threw me off a little bit with OpenSUSE at first, and also the upgrade um, upgrade command. Is it upgrade or update? Yeah, update. So you can update, but you're not supposed to use update. You're supposed to use dupe. But anyways, I'm not going to get into that now. I'm going to save all that for the OpenSUSE full review, which will be coming out soon. Um, hopefully you found this handy. And now you'll be able to update your system faster and not be sitting there waiting for the GUIs. Feel free to use the GUIs if you want. It's just, this is a nice little quick way to pop in your terminal, do a quick little update, and uh, doesn't use a lot of resources. You can do it anytime, but anyways. That's all I got for now. Until next time, bash on.